Hello. Welcome to this uh, first impressions, first look at the you know, Orbex Pacific Airspace 750XL. Been looking for this aircraft for quite a long time. Almost 13 years I've been looking for a high quality version of this aircraft. I finally used one, so I'm excited to have a look. Got a relatively short flight from Port Moresby across to Tapini in Papua New Guinea. Firstly, looking at the outside, looks really well modelled. Even got the little, small little reflections in there. Such a unique aircraft, this one. Let's get this going. Inside, really nice modelling on the retro cockpit. Got the GTN5, the GNS530. I do have the GTN installed, but I haven't got it in here at the moment. I'll have to look into that another time, but for now I'll just use this. That's how you do it. Mm. Switch it over to the GTN. There we go. Now let's see what we can do for TAS system test okay. Power. Beacon. Beacon on. No need for strobes at the moment. Alright, battery on. Generator on. Close the cockpit door. And let's see, avionics don't need right now. Mission auto. Shields on. Parking brake is set. And there we go, just to confirm the air meter, it's all on zeros. I think, this, I think that works. Get this started. There we go, now I've got to start. The avionics turned off. Or the, the igniter's turned off, sorry. Start. Go ahead and turn on the avionics. One and two. Build to auto. Not where I want to go. Apparently, it's not in there. If I go to here, then it'll load. I'll just use this for now. There's my flight plan in there. I'll wake up the transponder. Set the flaps for takeoff.
I'd have to go pretty high. I'm going west. I'm going to go to 8,500. Still not higher than the mountain, but high enough to not be dodging every single one. High idle, conditioned to high idle. Lights on, strobe lights on. Brace the throttle. take off on this aircraft. And we're off. trimmed so I can sort out the autopilot. Is there anything down here for autopilot? No? There it is. Autopilot. Whoa! That's not what I wanted. Heading mode on. Speed. It's activated. Climbing away nicely. Use the prop up again. ITT's in the green. I 
doesn't have flight level change mode on this one, which is annoying. Side here. I wonder if any of these work. Kind of. I really love the interior modeling of this. Doesn't have any passengers in here, but all the seats are modeled. Extremely short takeoff and landing aircraft. Go ahead and change this 6500 actually. Four tanks in here. Big seven five hundred set on the altitude. So this aircraft, uh, made by Pacific Aerospace in New Zealand, it competes in the same category as the. West Kodiak extremely short takeoff and landing XSTOL uh, 10 seat turboprop. As you can see, it's got some slightly different design characteristics and directions, but overall, it's a similar uh, purpose built plane short takeoff and landing. Good at climbing to get over mountains and descending down the other side as kind of them as well. Good at off, really good at off country airports. If I remember the last time I was looking at the specifications, this one could carry more than the Kodiak could. However, the Kodiak can fly further. Well, sorry, it can fly faster. At the time, it could fly further, but there were increase in the fuel capacity of the back 750 um, with a goal of competing with it uh, but the Kodiak can fly faster on the same similar fuel burn because they're very they're the same PT6 engine I'm not sure if it's a different variant or not they burst both burn around 50 gallons an hour but the Kodiak will cruise 160 ish this one well, as you can see, the yellow line starts at 140 and 160 is getting up. Well, the red line is 170. The Kodiak can fly 30 knots faster or so. Oh, so the Kodiak's got the G1000s. This one has the old steam gauge. So if you like the analog cockpits, then this one's a, definitely a winner in that regard. The biggest thing I miss when I'm flying, because I quite like flying analog cockpits, but the biggest thing I miss is when they don't have a flight level change so it can climb holding the airspeed. Which requires a bit more concentration when you're climbing and when you're um, not as familiar with that model of the aircraft. Like I am with this, the last time I flew was like some you know, four and it wasn't nearly as good a model. Um, you've got to be on your toes a bit to adjust the vertical speed so you keep your airspeed in the right spot. Yes, 
You can see PNG with all these nice mountains around. Some of those mountains are higher than us, so we'll have to be looking into we're picking our valleys and flying down the valley at this altitude. This one's currently cruising 125 knots. Kodiak would be up. I've reduced the power a bit uh, due to ICC temperatures. Yeah, they, they are. They compete in the same category, but they are different planes. For a slightly different purpose. I think this one outperforms the Kodiak short takeoff and landing and climbing ability I think you can see from this little terrain map it's poking out in front uh, we're coming up on the rising terrain. We'll probably shortly be in front of us and seeing the mountain range there. That mountain range just over there. Won't be a particularly large correction, but a small correction will be needed to the left. This valley or the next valley? Maybe the next one. Can go back on track for now though.
this is always risky. Mountains and clouds. In real life, you wouldn't fly into this mountain. Or into this cloud. Five miles away from the aerodrome. the next one I'm going to fly up here and turn around in this valley and then I'll fly back down. in this cloud. It wouldn't need clouds. Alright, so it'll rain it back. Is it on these ones? Yep, it is on the rear windows too. You see it from outside? Kind of. Descending into this valley. Vertical speed. 500 feet a minute. Terrain ahead. Terrain ahead. Fly up this Turn river. Ahead. Why is it not descending? I've got it in vertical speed. Start to see the terrain. Terrain, terrain ahead, terrain ahead, terrain ahead. Terrain ahead, Ter terrain ahead, terrain ahead, terrain ahead. Pull up, terrain ahead, pull up. 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 Terrain ahead. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Terrain ahead. Pull up. That's ten. Terrain ahead. Pull up. 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 Terrain ahead, 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 pull up. 
Terrain ahead. Pull up. I pass on. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Terrain ahead. Terrain ahead. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Terrain ahead. Hug this left hand side of the mountain here. Terrain ahead. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Terrain ahead. Terrain ahead. Terrain ahead. Terrain ahead. Reducing speed. Terrain ahead. Terrain ahead. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Terrain ahead. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Terrain ahead. Terrain ahead. Terrain ahead. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Terrain ahead. Pull up. In real life, they would have just turned around and gone back, Bob. Terrain. Terrain ahead. In real life. Terrain ahead. Terrain ahead. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Terrain ahead. Pull. Terrain ahead. Terrain ahead. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Terrain. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Terrain ahead. Terrain ahead. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Terrain ahead. Terrain ahead, pull up. 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 Terrain ahead, pull up.
very high for the approach when I finally cleared the weather. I just turned it off. I still was able to make the landing and with plenty of space to spare. It's really quite a phenomenal plane if you enjoy flying bush flying. It might be slow, but as far as getting in and out of bush strips, it will do, do phenomenal.